In the first weeks of the American Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln issued a call for all able-bodied men to volunteer to serve in the Union Army. Over two million would enlist. Almost 600,000 would be killed, wounded, or go missing. One of those soldiers was named Johnny Clem. Johnny Clem was 10 years old. Today is the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The readings today call us to reflect on the challenges of living in our world, the choices that we encounter, how we live our lives, and the spiritual awareness that's required of us as followers of Jesus. The scriptures ask us whether we have the stamina and the resolve to persist in the face of everything that confronts us. In the first reading from the Book of Wisdom, it speaks of the world in which forces of evil set out to destroy what is good and just. We hear the wicked plotting against God's just one. The wicked are unhappy because the just one exposes their wrongdoing. And although the reading points to Jesus as the just one, the Son of God, we too are faced with the challenge of evil in the world, evil that attempts to bring us to spiritual ruin. Johnny Clem knew about challenges. He attempted to enlist, enlist in his local volunteer infantry. They sent him home. So he waited until another group from another state came through town. Then Johnny left his home, his family, and he followed them. Initially, the soldiers attempted to discourage him, but as time passed, they shared their food and adopted him as a mascot. They scrounged up a poorly fitting uniform for him to wear, and they trained him to be a drummer boy and modified a musket for him to carry. Until he was allowed to enlist at the age of 11, the soldiers donated part of their pay to give Johnny the $13 a month that was earned by a foot soldier in the Civil War. In the second reading today, James, James writes to the Christian community about their individual failings guided by passion, coveting, envy, and selfishness. James writes that the individual choices of the members determine whether that community can live in peace, exercising gentleness or mercy. They contend with the world, controlling the temptation to succumb to their passions, realizing and following, following their calling and purpose in life. Johnny Clem had to contend with the forces of his society. He had to survive and prosper in a very hostile world. He had to choose to remain faithful to the calling that he was pursuing. According to some sources, at the Battle of Shiloh, his drum was struck by a cannonball and Johnny was knocked unconscious. But when revived by his companions, he immediately returned to the battle. Later at Chickamauga, he earned the nickname, the little drummer boy of Chickamauga. Clem's unit was surrounded and during the fight, he wounded a Confederate colonel. He was captured for a time and then managed to escape on the battlefield, making his way back to his unit. Johnny Clem had a sense of duty, a sense of honor, a sense of commitment, and he would not be deterred. 
In the gospel today, Jesus is discussing his own suffering, death, and resurrection. And the apostles do not understand the idea that Jesus will suffer. Rather, they have been noticing and enjoying Jesus' rise in popularity among the people. Mistakenly, they believe that they will benefit also and become celebrities themselves. And Jesus attempts to clarify his message, telling the apostles that in order to be first, they must begin as the least. And Jesus puts a point on his message using a small child. Children at that time were the least of the people in Jesus' uh, time. They had no standing in law or the community. In order for them to be successful, they had to be strong enough to grow and survive into adulthood. They had to work, learn, and become accepted. Johnny Clem became quite famous. Harper's Weekly, a paper that reported on the war, regularly featured his exploits. He participated in many other battles in the Civil War, and he was wounded twice. Clem remained in the Army after the Civil War, rising to the rank of Brigadier General. He retired in 1915. He was the last Civil War veteran to leave the United States military. He died in San Antonio, Texas, in 1937 at the age of 86. He's buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Johnny Clem was assaulted by the world that he lived in. There were forces that sought to destroy him. He experienced things that could have broken his spirit and his willingness to live well the life that he had chosen. But somewhere within him, Johnny Clem had the spiritual strength to survive and to thrive, living on to serve his country and to fulfill his sense of duty. Living in our own world today brings us the same challenges. Our war may look different, but the danger and the potential for our own harm is still very real. Just as Johnny Clem realized at the age of 10 that he was called to serve his country, the reading in the Book of Wisdom reflects on the challenges that we are called to face living in our time. Just as Johnny Clem pursued a course that he believed to be noble and good, the letter from St. James reflects on how we choose to live nobly and in goodness. And just as Johnny Clem found the spiritual reserve to be faithful to the calling he discerned in his life, the gospel challenges us to begin as the least, resolving with the help of God to grow in strength and spirit, living the life and example of true disciples called into action by Jesus Christ.